Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. I'm Steven Silver, character designer and teacher, dedicated to helping you learn about the art industry and living up to your potential. Whippee! All right, welcome to another Monday morning art talk. Stay tuned for the end of this art talk. Uh, maybe you're going to just skip all this just to watch the end. But I wanted to share something new that I'm doing, mainly for you guys, the guys that are watching uh, my art talks all the time. Uh, I appreciate you guys and I thank you so much for being a part of this journey. It's always exciting for me to be able to be here every day. I usually do this every Friday is when I'm doing this and just trying to think of what it is that I want to tap into and what it is that I want to share with you guys. So oftentimes things may happen for me during the week that I experience that I want to share. Other times um, I'm just always jotting ideas down because they always come to me at really just any time. And as I've mentioned to you guys, it's really a journal. It's uh, part of my own personal uh, therapy, so to speak, as far as just talking about it and explaining my thoughts and trying to get deeper as a teacher, because I, I want to, it's so, it's not just about the artwork, right? And, and, and as I meet people and I just was at this, uh, convention, the Ground Zero Animation Expo this last weekend, and it was such a terrific time. And I got the chance to really talk to so many people trying to get into the industry, trying to just get started, trying to find their way, trying to make these decisions of, what to do and the confusion. So it just made me realize that this is something I just kind of want to talk about. But before that, I just want to start off with, with a quote by uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he wrote, don't be too timid and squeamish about your actions. All life is an experiment. The more experience you, the more experiments you make, the better. And that's, that's what's going to be so important is about just trying new things all the time. And it comes down to that it's not about perfection. It's about progression. And that's what we have to constantly keep in mind is just that stop trying, because that's what I kept facing all the time. When I was talking to a lot of people, not, you know, the concern is that you, of course, you want to, you're trying to build up your, your knowledge base. You're trying to build up your skill set. You're trying to network. You're trying to connect. You're trying to do all these things just to help give you a better chance and better opportunity just to, just to get out there. And what you have to do is realize it's all going to be about experimentation. It's going to be about trying so many different things. But through this experimentation, where I find that a lot of people go wrong and it holds them back is not not focusing so much about really every time I do something, I know that I'm going to keep getting better. So that limited mind, the, the, the limited mind really says it's got to be perfect. If it's not perfect, then I'm not going to post it. I'm not going to do it. Or how can I take it to the next level of even showing people whatever it may be if it's not perfect. And I think this is where you got to understand that the progression is more important than perfection because the pro progression is eventually going to get you to the place where you can start to feel through experimentation a sense of perfection, although it's never going to be perfect. And if we can just eradicate this word perfection, who... Who, you tell me who and what on this planet is perfect. There is, there is nothing. There is, there is no tree. There is no, nothing in nature. There is nothing. I mean, what is perfect? What, what does that even mean? What does it even mean? You could look at someone and go, oh my God, they're so perfect. Really? Are they perfect on the outside? Are you looking at them on the outside and saying that person's so beautiful, so handsome, so whatever they may be? But you don't truly know everything within the inside that is maybe making them just not perfect, right? It's just this all, it, it doesn't exist. It's the same thing with people with, with, with failure that people think, you know, failure to me is, is better than perfection. 
Because failure, at least you're experiencing something and learning something through that, hopefully, that you realize that maybe I should change certain aspects of what I'm doing. But it comes down to just making sure that you are just focusing on the progression of your artwork, the progression of your communication skills. I think that's very important on the, the GZA Expo. I did a panel on networking and marketing and just so important to have that confidence and just build that within yourself to say that, hey, you know what? I just bit, I can just start talking to people, meeting people, making myself just e even a better person than I was a year ago. A year, year ago, two months ago, I was shy. I had this limited mindset. I thought people were judging me all the time. And I did another art talk about that. Just people are judging you. So what? Everyone is silently judging you. That's what, that's what's going on. People are judging your artwork every time. They're judging your life. They're judging your appearance. And the quicker you get over that, the easier and the more freedom you're going to have through your progression. All right. So it's so vital to stop worrying about this, this idea of perfection. That's going to just, it, what it does. It just stops you from ever trying to do something different because you're so concerned about other people's uh, reaction to it that nothing moves forward at all. It's just, you know what it is? It, it's it's going to be um, just, and, and I speak from experience. It, it, it sort of, it, what it did to me when I, having that sort of mind mindset and mind thought, especially when I was younger, it just, uh, it, it held me back in, in many ways because I, I was terrified of, of what people may think and how, the, you know, even just getting my artwork out there and um, if I was selling my artwork, if I was doing caricatures, that it was a scary time and I would feel that if I if I don't have the best quality, are, they, are these people going to reject me? Is that, is that going to, are they going to say no to me? Yeah, probably. And they did. And I have had plenty of no's in my life. And so the thing that started just to help me was really, I think, losing that sense of perfection, right? And, and embracing experimentation and trying new things and seeing just what happens. This is all we can do. Now, you may not feel that you're at a level and if you do feel like you're not at a level to be, you know, getting in the studios or getting this next job or really showcasing your artwork, I, I, I beg you to really seek professional help. And it's not in a bad way. Professional help means just having people who have um, experience just go looking at your work. To be able to help you, but making sure that you're you're listening as you're progressing, because otherwise you get stuck in this cycle of non-creation and and doing nothing. Again, what you get stuck in is a cycle of fear, um, and and this is what what's going horribly wrong too. And again, I, I don't mean to bash on social media. I love social media. What I why I sort of bash on it is because I see. Just what it's done to people. I mean, it happened to my own daughter. My own daughter for a while got rid of her Instagram account. You know, it's just, and she's, you know, she's, she does art, but it wasn't about her art. It's about the perception of just like her just getting upset with seeing what's happening with her friends as they're just going and doing things and she wasn't invited and, you know, these sort of things. So as we read into other people's lives and we're looking at them and again, you tap into, oh my God, look how many likes that person has or look at that, look look at what they're doing and what I'm not doing and it keeps putting you in a in a hole. It really does. And I think if you come to the acceptance that that's what it's going to do because you're looking at someone else's work thinking how perfect it is and not realizing that that person, again, that you truly are admiring, that you truly want to be, uh, that you're enamored with in a way that you have that respect for and, oh my God, I got to get to that level. You know, th th again, there's no perfection. You can talk to any of these people that you admire 
and ask them how they feel about their artwork. And most people you're going to hear over and over again. I talked about this in another art talk about the imposter syndrome, about just not feeling worthy. And again, we don't have this feeling of worthiness because, again, it comes down in this perfection. But, you know, how do people perceive us? Well, how are they going to judge us? And all these sort of, wah, 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 all this stuff that just keeps going on the head is just not a reality. And we have to let that go. So what can you do? What can we do to keep improving upon ourselves where well, we can keep just finding out, okay, I'm not perfect at this. Like for me with my whole perspective venture that I've got on, gone on where I, I, I neglected my perspective and I've, and I've just, and now I realize I am, I'm not perfect. I am not a perfect artist. I am not a perfect draftsman. I am not that. And I know that about myself. And I'm just thankful that I, in all honesty, have the discipline to take initiative. And that's even bigger and greater than everything else that you will ever do in your life is just have the willingness and the persistence and the drive, the determination, the willingness just to be more disciplined in just trying to learn something new that you know that you're weak at. And being honest about it. And sometimes what that is, is, be, and is starting from scratch. And when I talked to a lot of people this past weekend was almost what I love about um, Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey. And if you ever get, there's a great little documentary. You can find it on YouTube. I've mentioned it. Please watch this. Please watch this. Please watch this. It's called Finding Joe. And it's, it's a beautiful little, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe less or so of a nice little story that someone put together, um, of imagery about Joe, on Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey. And talks about, again, if you've read it or read, looked into it or even watched this documentary, knowing what Joseph Campbell was talking about was you have to die. You have to die to be reborn. And it's not like, okay, I'm just going to kill myself and die. No, it means that you have to sometimes start over from scratch that I'm not good at this. Like That's what I'm going through right now in my own journey is knowing that I'm not per perfect, knowing that I got to go, that it's going to be the progression, know that it's going to be the, the discipline and just the willingness to try and keep working on things that I know that I've struggled with and just neglected and ignored that you die and you have to have a rebirth. And you have to start from scratch. And that's honestly what I told quite a few people when I looked at their work. I said, listen, I know you got your portfolio, but you got to abandon shit. This is not, this is not a healthy portfolio. This is not a good portfolio. You got to just, you got to kind of end it here and start from scratch and realize, let me pull back. Let me start again with my progress. As I start, let me start to get together a routine. What are things that I really need to work on? My gestures are horrible. My caricatures are horrible. My understanding of design is horrible. My storytelling is horrible. What is horrible? Again, get rid of perfection poo. Get out of there. We don't want it. It doesn't exist. I hate that word. There's nothing, again, perfect. So starting from scratch on certain things. And that way, you know what? Because even though you're not attaining the jobs or getting this immediate result that we, of course, always want so quickly, at least you know that you have an objective. At least you know that you're going to be in this, pro. you know, you're working through the progress and you're, you're doing it. And, and some, you know, what I hear all the time too, and I was just every um, now and again, I do it about twice a month right now, once or twice a month, I'm doing these online drawing sessions where it's just $5, where everyone's, so we're all drawing the same thing. It's a really fun thing that um, I've been doing through uh, Zoom. So all these artists from all over the world, we're all coming together at one time and we're all drawing the same thing that I provide. But one of the artists on there, she was talking about, she has a student right now. And again, I've faced this, where she has this student who she's trying to get them just to draw them just 
Draw the basics. I want you to just draw just, it's gonna be boring stuff, right? It's, I just need you to draw the construction over and over and over again. It's just like, but the student is getting bored and they don't want, they just want to jump to the next thing. This is what I see a lot of the times. And I know this to be true because I've witnessed it and it's just like, sometimes it's just so boring to work on the fundamentals. And I'll be honest, as I'm working on my perspective, I, I was cramming, I was going through every, this, I've been filling up sketch, you know, just pages and pages, front and back of just perspective stuff and trying to study, doing tracings over perspective drawings and, and, and photographs and trying to find out where's the horizon line, where is my line of sight, where am I standing in this picture, am I above it, am I below it, all these things. But it can start to get a little boring because I'm not drawing the fun stuff that I always draw when I'm drawing people. You know, that's the fun stuff and you want to tap into that. And I realize again, the importance of it. So there's some days where I slow down and I don't even draw it at all because I'm just like, I'm feeling a little burnt out because I've been just going, going, going. And that's okay. Allow this to happen. But you got to go through part of this training and stop worrying about the perfection. Just eliminate that. Start working, focusing on what it is that you then truly are wanting to attain and what you want to do. Start to get your structure, your organization laid out of where you want to be. And that's going to be the important thing. So right now, what it's time for, and I'm going to cut this and put it back on, is I'm going to read a portion of my journal, personal journal to you guys. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I wrote down, again, wishing I wrote down dates. I got to stop putting dates on my journal. But my personal journey, a journal entry for you as I'm in my own mind talking. This was um, about, and I'll just read it, okay? Uh, you're in a new town. You get to a corner. You look to the left. You look to the right. Not sure what direction to go. Not sure what you may see or find. You get to a certain point and you realize you either went the wrong way or there is nothing too exciting down this road. All right. Just, I'm just going to intervene right here. Experience from myself. That's even traveling and where this came from. Obviously is when I've traveled, I've, I've jumped on a bus and I've gone to the wrong place or I have gone down the wrong street. I was like, where am I? Let me go down here and I realize there's nothing there or it's the wrong direction. And then, um, you know, there's nothing exciting down there, right? So think about this as a metaphor in your life that's something you may be pursuing in your own life and you realize that, you know, I've been heading down the wrong path. I've been trying to get into an industry that doesn't really excite me. That's not the right thing. And this is almost in honesty taps back into the death of just rebirthing yourself and coming back and realizing that you got to change. All right. Um, so what do you do? You turn around and you try and you try the other direction. See if that offers something different. Life is no different. Take risks. Try new things and see what happens. Don't have great expectations of what you find because it may not come through and then you'll be disappointed. Don't try to predict what you will find because you can never know until it happens. And that's, that's kind of like what it is. It's just like you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to, you got to try new things. You're going to try new ways. You're going to try new ideas. And this is what it all comes down to in the full circle of our experimentation, of our willingness to learn, our willingness to grow, but most importantly, knowing what it is that we really want. Okay, we have to know what it is we want, but try Try new things. See what happens. You may, things are going to crash and they're going to burn. And that's again, just the reality. But to, to try it, do it, do something different. See what happens. That's all I can beg of you guys and please do it. And if you feel like that you're going in that wrong direction, that wrong path, it's okay to turn around. You know, it's not like you're 80 years old or something. You're not retired at this point in your life. You're still young. You're still vibrant. You still got a lot of energy. You still got a lot of life. And that's what you got to do. So hopefully, um, 
this resonates in some format. All right, so thanks a lot for watching again. Stay tuned for this upcoming video that's happening right now. And I appreciate you guys and hope that you'll partake. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Hey, this is Steven and I want to thank you guys so much for being here and visiting my Patreon page. I'm really excited to be here. Most of you guys know me as a character designer in the industry as well as a teacher. And for years now, I've been producing content, my art talks, trying to share and impart advice from things that I've experienced in the industry and along my own journey. And I've always felt that it to be extremely important just to have this awareness awareness as you're starting something, but also just to get the right mindset. So I wanted to do something a little different now that I'm doing Patreon. I thought, what could I do? What could I give you guys that's going to be just a little bit different from what I've been doing in the past. I've had people in the past say, could you release these a little sooner, uh, maybe for the weekend? And I thought, you know, that's a great idea and that's something that I'm going to do now with you guys as Patreon supporters and releasing my art talks on the Friday. So as you get into the weekend, you're gonna be motivated or just have the right tools just to get you started. So only you guys, you don't have to wait till the Monday. And also I thought, what else? could I give you guys? What else could I do? And what I want to do, since my background was caricature and my background's character design, I thought it would be great just to do caricatures of you guys. So the idea is that every month what I'll do, I'm going to pick just two of the supporters, and but you're going to be one of them because every single month it's going to, it's going to be one of you guys and it's going to be at random. So you never know who you're going to see get drawn, but what you're going to get is the video process where I'm going to just do a sped up video of me drawing the caricature of that person. You guys will submit your photos. And as I do that, what I'll do is commentary. I'm not just gonna speed it up and put music over it. I wanna explain my process. Again, this is gonna be exclusive just to you guys, will not be posted anywhere else. So each month, I won't be drawing everyone, but I'll be drawing at the beginning two people it will be different every single month and one of those months is guaranteed to be you because no Patreon will be left behind and every single one of you at some point is going to get a caricature done. And the benefit too will just be uh, for you to see why caricature is important and especially for those that wish to get into character design and even make a living as a caricature artist. So thanks so much for being a part of this. Thanks so much for following me all these years. For those of you that have on my journey with my art talks and I hope that this continues and I know it will. I really greatly appreciate you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. To subscribe to my mailing list and stay updated on future workshops and events, please go to my contact at silvertoons.com and simply hit join mailing list. Until the next time, make it a great week and thank you for listening.